When I create my virtual classrooms, I can do a couple different things to create that background setting for my classroom. So the first option would be to go to background to change my background and choose an image. So usually I don't have a picture already set up um, ready to use on my laptop. So I just go right to Google image search and I type in classroom. I personally like the animated ones rather than a real classroom like setting, but that's personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and just use this one uh, just to show what it looks like on a Google slide. So I'm going to click it to select and then click insert and then select done. So I don't really like this one because it doesn't cover my whole screen. You can see the bottom is kind of missing and the top is kind of missing and you can't really change that since it's your background. So I can easily go back in, choose image again and go right back into my search. And I'm going to select this one and see what this one looks like. And then I'm going to select done. So that one works, but because it takes forever to just kind of search for what I'm looking for or what I think I like, I actually like to create my backgrounds myself instead of taking an already created picture. So for me, I like to start by changing my background color. So this will be my wall color. You don't have to, you can actually create a design for your wall color, but this one's going to be my wall color for today. Then I come over to insert image and I'm going to do search the web. And so here I'm going to select some vinyl flooring. And then I like this one, so I'm gonna select it and do insert. Then of course, I just have to do a little resizing. And so now that's my classroom floor, and then here is my wall. If I didn't want the green colored wall and I wanted a textured wall, I could easily, again, just insert image and search the web, and I could say brick wall. And so maybe I like this wall. I'm gonna select it, insert. I'm just going to resize. So now I have a brick wall and I have vinyl flooring planks. So it's really up to you what you decide you want to use for your background. I like personally creating them from scratch. I can get a little more creative and I don't have to spend as much time searching for the perfect image of a background.